Welcome to Intech, my name is Luke and today is episode 3 of our 4 part series to go from knowing nothing about ADO to creating a production ready pipeline for Terraform code specifically. Now in this episode we're going to be talking about manual validations, so this here in the pipeline. If you don't know what this drawing is, you don't know much about ADO, you can go and watch the first video where we create the basic pipeline, I tell you what a pipeline is, how to download the local agent, blah blah blah. In the previous episode, we set up stages, and for this, we've used artifacts to move the Terraform in it uh, directory stuff from here to the next one, from there to the next one, right? Using artifacts. Today, we're going to be looking at manual validation before the apply stage. So, this here is running automatically. We want to come in here and intervene and say, hold on, let's check it out first. So, if we go back to our pipelines, now here, up top right, let's click on settings and we can change the file. For us this time we're going to go to manual validation. We'll click on save. And then that will change this file. There we go. So we're using a different file now for this pipeline. So the file has changed this manual validation file, which is the new pipeline file we're going to use for this specific pipeline. Now most things here are the same, except one small change, the trigger pool, variables, stages, they're all the same, and the artifact. The difference now is before our Terraform apply, we have this chunk of code here. Now what this does is it waits for validation for one day. When this job arises, it notifies this user and says, please validate the build, config, and resume. And if it times out, it then automatically rejects this stage. Now, to ensure this or to enforce it, you have to have a depends on, wait for validation here, because that's depends on, wait for validation, which is the name of that job. So this job depends on that one. Otherwise, they run concurrently, which I actually found when testing for this, when they apply run before this. So don't forget that. So if we validate and run this, validate and save, it'll commit directly to main, and that's fine because that would then trigger this pipeline to automatically run. So we come back out here into the pipeline. You can see it's automatically begun. Let's click in here. And you can see that there's this new stage, wait for external validation. And we'll just leave this for a minute and let it run through its stuff. And we'll come back and it hopefully we'll send us an email. Right, so that is plan just finished. So it's moved on to waiting for external validation. One manual validation needs your review before this can continue. So here we have this review button. If I click on that, it will say reject or resume. You can have a comment. So looks good. No changes. Well, it looks good. <laughs> no changes. Then we can resume. And then that will automatically move on to the apply. You can see my emails have just went up by one. And that's because we have this stage applies pending on manual validation. And if I click review manual validation, I could then go and do it here, but I've already done that. And then the pipeline just runs as normal. And so that's how to implement or enforce the waiting for an external validation. And this is something that you, you would want if you're going to run something like an apply and you want someone to check it or you want to check it before it automatically goes through. So this is the final part of the basic pipeline. The next step we're going to do is get this pipeline that we have, which is the, let's draw it better. We have the stages, so the init, the plan, we have a manual validation here, and then we have the apply, and we have that with this artifact file that keeps getting referenced. Now this, oops, now this is essentially just a dev environment, right? Because we're just playing around. Now, if you're in the real world, you're going to want this to have a dev environment to kind of play around, if you will, for want of a better phrase. You would want this test environment and you would want this prod environment. Now, to do this, we would actually want one pipeline to handle all of that, such that then we can have these multiple environments so that users can access this one, people can test this one, you can experiment, I suppose, for want of a better term in this one. 
so subscribe for that one it'll be coming out tomorrow hope you enjoyed this any comments questions queries let me know and until next time i'll see you later take care